Welcome back to Isla Familia. This is Maricar and this is Muy Monge. Be careful my bulbul. Muy Jizawa, Matt. So for today's video, we will gonna do the Q&A. Actually, this is from what? This is like questions from the Polish subscribers. Yeah. But uh, we would like to share. We like to share it also here on the English channel. And if you have, we like to encourage you to to give us your own questions. You know, like uh, you can do this under this uh, vlog yeah. in the comments, comment. or you can send it through my email. And uh, we like to do like frequently. Mm -hmm. You know, like time to time, this kind of question. Two times a day. And answers, maybe twice a month. We will see how it will go. So it, it, it all depends on you if, if you will give us the question. Okay, so let's start. Where we are, babe? We are in Santiago Bay. Why, you didn't bring your drone? I have my drone. Maybe I will fly later. We are in the Santiago Bay, guys. We are on the overlooking view. Actually, our house is just over there. So we're very close. Our house is like other side of the beach. Yeah. So let's get started. Question number one. -na -na. From Arthur Tahon, 2759. Question for me. Marikar, how do you do it that you are always sm so smiling? P.S. You are very beautiful. It's windy, babe. You don't need this. Why you like that to me? Because it's noisy, it's like Nye. That vibe. You don't need this. I need. You don't need. Actually, my smile already broken. <laughs> I don't have my fun anymore. Uh, you know, the smiling is like this is common. For Filipinos like me, this is our thing to smile always, even if you have problem. And for me, it's like smiling makes you more beautiful, right, Yvaga? Yes, of course. I'm I'm trying to attract the waitress, you know, because they don't they don't give a cheese about us so much. <laughs> but we like to order something. Yeah, and thank you for this compliment, like, about smiling, mm. from Arthur Stahon. I, I smile only when I feel in, in the mood, but when I'm not in the mood, I don't smile at all. Like know? now? Yes, of course. You break my smile, you know. Can I Apa. Thank you. And let's go to question number two, from Darrow. Oh. Seven, eight, five, see, I lost five. my bulbul. Will there be an episode from Moal Boal or something more from Cebu, but with the family? Answer it, Jibaka. The decision is yours. What decision is mine? Yeah. You know there will be, huh? If I decision is mine, let's go now, you know. Mm, no, maybe next week or in two weeks. But there will be episode from the Cebu. That's for sure. You heard what you heard. And thank you for this wonderful question, Daro. So let's go for <laughs> another question, number three. Els, Els Beta Bobra, 2669. <laughs> Such a cutie, just squeeze him and cuddle him, so wonderful. I agree with this squeezing and cuddling. I like it, you know, I'm really enjoying this. Does he sleep well at night or do you have to carry and entertain entertain him at night warm greetings to the whole family you know actually you need to carry him because after feeding and when i'm feeding him i sit so i need to sit and carry him because i don't like to feed like laying laying down. Up. for me it's like more dangerous i do sometimes but when i don't feel sleepy because if i feel sleepy then i will fall asleep and I don't maybe he will drown yeah so yes i do oh. carry him for feeding during at night and to burp. Sometimes he don't feel good, so 
I need to deal like I don't know like for about an hour to you know make him feel better because sometimes you feel gassy mm. and this is like very common to the newborn babies and that's all thank you for this wonderful question but it's much harder with him than with Anton, Anton. yes thank you Salamat. because with Anton it's no problem at all he's a very good boy I mean he don't give a you know problem with us that time I sleep good and I actually sleep separate now. You know? I always do. He was much more quiet, you know, mm. not so crying, not making like sounds like. Eh, 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 eh. Christian is like when he's stretching, he's making like strange sounds, you know, like a like door, a, like an old guy, like an old door. <laughs> so I have to take him out from the bedroom so Matt can sleep well. Yeah. And let's go for another question, number four, from Dona XDX. <laughs> what? This yeah, is your debate. XDX. Um, Machek, how is it with the humidity in the Philippines? Is it humid there all year round or there months when it is dry? I don't mean it then, rainy season. Yeah, it's okay, don't read it all because it's so many. So, you know, in my opinion, it's very, very humid here, whole year. Yeah? Maybe it's a little less humid during the dry season because sometimes, I mean sometimes, there can be no rain for like two months or something like that. Yeah? But anyway, it's still humid because we're living on the islands. Yeah? We are always surrounded by water and the, the ocean is uh, evaporating uh, every day. Yeah? She's, so, she's living in Dubai. So humidity is huge here and and even like now, mm, you see, my my body is like. You so said you're not sweating. Huh? We just walk here, you know, from the from our house, and yeah, I, and I sweat a little. Yeah. It's like a butter now. Now here is it's good because there is kind of gentle breeze from the ocean, so I'm not sweating here, but but he is sweating. But if you're moving, you even you walking, you will be covered with sweat. And Make uh, me sweat. <laughs> Make me sweat. So. That's all? Yeah, yeah. It's very humid. It's Thank tropical you. country. Yeah. Thank you for your answer, Mark. Most, most humid, most humid uh, moment, I think it's after short rain. Oh, when yeah. When it fall down and then it starts to evaporate right away. Yeah? Because it, it was short rain, so the, the earth cannot be like cooled down. Yeah. That's true. If you have long rain, it's, it's a bit different. But when it's short rain and then it starts to evaporate, it's so humid. Eh? It's oh, very heavy air. Okay. Thank you for the wonderful question, Donna XDX. Let's go to another one from Evai. Evai? Yeah. Evai 69 and 64. Uh, always 69, no? How do you live in this house so close to the beach? Are you satisfied? Do you have enough space for you and the new baby? Or are you thinking of changing soon? So what, I answer this or you will answer? Uh, you. How do you live? Uh, you know, for me it's okay, like we live here close to the beach because the kids, then they can enjoy the nature. You know, they are always on the beach. For example, like when they wake up after breakfast, after doing these house chores, colleagues and Anton, they go to the beach with my mother. Even my mother is always on the beach. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I liked it. So and then the house is okay, you know. Like I really don't give problems with the space of the house. We always try to find a way. You know? Yeah. We don't have problem with this. We, we fit, you know. We are not and so we're not looking for the problem. Yeah. And about the moving, yes, we will move, but I don't know when. Yeah, and maybe, we, we maybe, will. We maybe will today. Move, we will move, not not because we like to change the house to bigger, but we like more, to change the place. More likely, we will like to change the place as, and see something see new. More beautiful woman, <laughs> And that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Like for the. I have same opinion, you know. It's awesome. We live next to the beach, so. What's kids, new? Kids are so happy. Yeah. Thank you for that wonderful question, Eva. Let's go to another one. Number six. Nyesnane nye nyad. What is this? Nyesnane nye nadane. Ta. Where do you live better? 
there in the Philippines or in Oh, Pula? this is question to me. And why exactly there? So... Oh, God, it's so hard. You know, Poland is kind of a cold country. We have a summer, but it's, it's a short. And I always enjoy the summer a lot. So that was my time, you know, to wear the short pants. Like I do. Go to the go to the river, you know, or some lake. Spend a like whole day. If I have day off, uh, you know, do some barbecue. Mm -hmm. That was drink some beers. That was my that was my way to spend the time. Like you now swim. So yeah, here I can do this all the time, all year, every day, you know. So drink beer. So it's it's perfect and. Uh, you know, I discovered my my new Happy. passion here. Yeah, new passion here. Uh, like a scuba diving. So I'm already diving like six years here and I still don't have enough. I'm still so much horny for diving like I was before, you know, so. Like you. Yeah, like, like, like I'm a fresh diver, so. Uh, just, you know, and I also think the, to raise the kids here is it's also good like for the kids because they have summer all year and they have play every day outside of the house you know they don't need to sit inside they can just play outside so this is this is so good you know in my opinion so i think it's enough i i, I could find more reasons you know why it's better here but but this is there's this enough is, guys it's so hot you're not sweating yet you do Thank you for the wonderful question, number seven. Again, same guy or same person? Oh. Yes, nane, nye, nada, ne. What, what Marikar uses for hair and skin care? She's so beautiful. Thank you for that compliment. I, I think it's, I don't use any skin care or hair for my hair. I use regular shampoo and the conditioner. But I think because my hair is not so uh, overused with the chemicals because I don't use any, how you call that with? For the salon, you know, like coloring, coloring or any other, because I'm allergic with coloring of the hair or and any chemicals, I'm afraid. You don't do like uh, curling, eh? I'm afraid of that, you know. Well, first time I did the coloring when I was teenager, I got some skin reaction on my scalp. And I didn't do that any, anymore. And, One time only. And you know, women in the Philippines and Marikar also, they don't use, uh, how you call this? Blower? Blower. No, oh, they do. Some of them they do if they are in rush, but you don't use blower, yeah? And blower can also damage the hair, you know, if you're blowing the hair every day. They do. Mm, some Filipino, they are like with curler. They go to salon, they straightening the hair, even if they have straight yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't use the blower, yeah? I don't. So... I use electric fan. <laughs> or just air dry. Yeah, so air it's also dry. good for the hairs, I yeah. think, you know? And, you know, I think... And also, if you will wash your hair, they said... I, I, I mean, I read about this, and I was researching that you need to wash your hair, like shampoo, like every second day, not like every day. And be aware of shampoo, what you using. Mm. That's the technique. My, I, before, uh, and it's also good, they said you use coconut milk. For the hair? For the hair, and like, cover for about an hour with towel, mm -hmm. then wash it after. But now, I am using the, ano, what is that? The uh -oh. oil, you both. Uh, like Hot this. oil and the mask. But I recently use it because sometimes, guys, I always forget to do this, you know. For example, I'm used doing this like once per per week. Sometimes I forgot. Yeah. Because I don't choose to do this. And, you know? and you are busy with the with the Christian, yeah? I'm busy with my life. What about the skin? Skin care, I don't have that skin care because I told you I don't have time. <laughs> Did you tell them? I don't have time for the skin care. I'm only using the soap from Poland, which is... Because recently when we went from El Nido, I have skin reaction that I got some pimples. Only after El Nido, so then Matt bought in El, in El Nido, in El Nido, they have like horrible water, yeah? Yeah, I so. got 
Urba March. Yeah. <laughs> I got team pools at that time after just after El Nido. So my my Czech friend told told him to use this soap from Poland. Mm. So I'm only using this soap. It was like a natural Especially. soap with the silver ions. And it is not widening, guys, huh? So silver is, you know, like uh, uh, good to kill the, the bacteria. It's good for disinfection. So yes. It works really good. And, and you wash like twice, twice a day. Twice yeah? a day, morning and night. And I don't use any like cream because some women, they, a lot of things they putting on their face. I only use the Cetaphil of the kids, you know, the lotion of the kids for my face as a moisturizer. And that's all, you know, I don't... Yeah, like baby. a baby lotion, yeah. newborn? I'm afraid because, you know, some other Filipinos here, they have like very red face, like a strawberry. And because they're using like, I told you this, right? rejuvenating like this, because they want to have a rosy cheeks. But it's not like that, you know, it's like whole face, rosy, <laughs> rosy, you know. What is about the cheeks? So. I don't use only the this soap mm. and this lotion. That's okay. all. Thank you for the wonderful question. Let's go for the question number eight. Multi Xeom eleven. I have this question. Do you often see European vehicles in the Philippines? BMW, Mercedes, or Skoda types? What is Skoda? Skoda is like Czech uh, brand, you know, from Czech Republic. But they are connected with Volkswagen now, so I see BMW. mainly Skoda is like cheaper Volkswagen. But wait, can I answer first? Yeah. You will mainly see this in Manila, but not in this kind of island. In Dumaguete there was ah. few, but not many. In I Manila. In BGC, in Taguig. This is a lot of rich Filipino there, guys, you know. <laughs> so you go to Taguig, to the BGC, and you will see what you like to see. They want to have more fancy cars, you know, not, true. not the Japanese cars. They mm -hmm. want to have European. Mm -hmm. So... Um, this is my phone. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see the Skoda here at all. Yeah? I don't even know that. But BMWs, Mer Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes and the Volkswagen, I already... Volkswagen. I already seen. Mm -hmm. There is even one BMW here in Camotes. This small one? This is se City car? 3 Series, uh -huh. yeah, sedan, E90. E90, uh -huh. 318i. Ah, so this is 2 liters gasoline engine. I have no knowledge with cars, you know, don't ask me. Only Around like Jeep. One, 100. 30, 40 horsepower, something like that. All right. But it's only one here, I think, in Camotes. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that Move wonderful on. question. Let's go to another question from Darius Norbert, fourteen eleven. How much horsepower do your does your <laughs> Nissan have? Uh, according to the manual, our Nissan Al Gaib, AKA Falcon Nine. Uh huh. It uh, can have uh, 160 to 190 horsepower, you know, with depending of the of the software version. Mm -hmm. So I don't know exactly how much horsepower you have, but you know, it's enough. It's a good two, enough. 2.5 liter uh, uh, turbo diesel, you know, like on the common rail. So uh, with a short gearbox, you know, like short shifts, like this is the track, yeah. So. That's why, and here mainly we're driving very slow. So if you need to take over someone, you accelerating from the low speed, like on the gear two or three. So it's very easy to to jump on the turbocharger and take over someone. So like, uh, it's enough for me. Eh? It's enough, um, the power, yeah. I don't need more. Uh, That's yeah. It. Thank you for mainly you know answer. like your driving speed here is like 50 to 60 kilometers per hour mm -hmm. or less yeah <laughs> okay thank you Jibaba for your wonderful answer let's go for You're welcome Jibaba Agahe 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 this is for me I think yeah at what point in the labor was the most tense greetings and thanks for the video of the bird. For me, it's like 
you know like the active labor like you will feel the pain like the baby is like crowning is going out because on that time really you don't know what to do like jump <laughs> transform <laughs> but then after that when the baby is out and it's like such a relief, you know. Like, but their body is very tired. I was shaking after birth. Yeah, yeah. I was shaking. Same with Anton. <laughs> I was shaking like, too. Drrr. You know, like elec electric shock. So yeah, you know, like for me, it's like the active labor is the most pain, you know. Take also for me, that was the moment I was most I pain. stressed. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. See. Thank you for that one. Because, you know, you always think, oh, so nothing wrong happened, you know, okay. everything go good. Everything is good. You're always concerned. And this is like the most uh, important tense moment. Eh? Yeah, I, I agree. Thank you for that wonderful question. Aga, hey. So this is from Wojciech, Wojciech, mm. Wojciech Baran 1029. Do children in the Philippines have godparents? Do Alex and Antek, they, 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 what is that? They know? They know and, you know, they know. Do, they, do they know their parents? Do they know their godparents and keep in touch invariably, invariably positive vibes to the whole family? Um, you know, with colleagues, after we move, we don't have any contacts from them, but I think in Facebook we have, but well, you need to contact only when you, you know, <laughs> say something like Merry Christmas, because here in the Philippines, godparents, they are more active when it's like Christmas. They give gifts to the kids during the time. Ah, yeah? Yeah. You don't know? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing here, you know, like when it's Christmas, then the godparents need to hide <laughs> because the kids, the god, god children will go to their house, you know, for some Christmas gift. Oh, yes. You know, it's like that. Okay. And you know, um, what? Same with Anton, diba? Right? It's yeah. like you know, our the, friend. The funny thing here, you can have as many godparents as as you want here. I think there is no limitation. So. Anton have like around 12 godfathers and few godmothers. But if I remember good, I need to pay for okay. each one of them when I put them on the list in the church, you know, like enroll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so each one of the, them I need Not to much. pay. But it was so funny for me to put so many godparents. That's why I, I put all my brothers, you know, some of my friends. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I pay for this. No, this is like small money, very small, small amount. Very, very small amount. And Don't hurt your pocket. So that was something new to me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also Anton, he don't have contact now with the godparents because they are abroad or they are on Sikihor. Sikihor, yeah, some Filipinos. Yeah. Some Filipinos and yeah. And we are not like other parents that, you know, they will contact the godparents when it's Christmas. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Because it's up to them if they like to give or yeah. it's not really we, obli we're, we're not obligated. We're not them. pushing the godparents, you know, for anything. Yeah, yeah. we're not obligating them to <laughs> give And also kids. our kids, yeah, yeah. They, they don't, they don't, don't even know this. <laughs> they even don't know, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think that's all for this topic for today. Mm, it's enough. Thank you for these questions from these Polish subscribers of yours, of yeah. us, of ours. And if you have any questions, to give us more you know like question to answer content just put in the comment section or write email to Matt and they will try to answer don't forget to subscribe like share and hit the notification bell for more updates and they leave us the comment eh? of course nice comments but funny it's okay yeah and minimum seven words it helps we are very demanding <laughs> <laughs> okay Thank you for for watching. See you in the next episode. We don't have kids now. We are like, you know. Yeah, we, we, we want to have some quiet time. <laughs> like no kids. We run away from the house. Yeah. So, you are. <laughs> I just, I just grabbed my backpack and we ran away. He grabbed me also. <laughs> Let's go out. <laughs>
Okay, so thanks for watching. See ya next See time. You next week, Gerard. Next week? Next week, maybe. Yeah. With another episode, different episode. Mm.